Paul Rutz reporting from Down Under. I just want to bring to your attention two articles that have come out in the past 24 hours. Uh, this one uh, by Sam Karana of Arctic News has come out um, and he's asking is Arctic sea ice gone by September 2019? So that will be um, a question that's on the lips of many people who are at all uh, conscious and he gives this um, here this is his he, he, he's a great fan of uh, polyonial if I've got the pronunciation right trend lines and he's got this trend line going down to zero so he points out um, at sea ice extent was 6.57 uh, square million million square kilometers on July the 28th 2019 less than it was on September the 17th 1989 when it was 6.926 million square kilometers on September the 17th 2012 extent was 3,000 uh, 387 million square kilometers, less than half of what it was 23 years earlier on September the 17th, 1989. And he asked the question, how much extent do you think will be left 30 years later, i.e. September the 17th, uh, 2019? Uh, and that—that that is pretty amazing, this I'll just read it again because uh, I found this pretty amazing. He said, consider this extent was 6.926 million square kilometers on September the 17th, 1989. Extent was 3.387 million square kilometers on September the 17th, 2012. So 3,539 million square kilometers, that's more than the uh, the entire extent on um, 2012 had disappeared in 23 years. Over those years, more ice extent disappeared than what was left on September the 17th, um, two th uh, uh, 1989. So the question he says is how much ice extent will be left when it reaches its maximum this year uh, in September 2019. And he's saying this may sound alarming, but there's good reason to be alarmed. And this is amazing. Um, he's picked this up from Knoll School, that the temperature at the top of Greenland was 14.1 degrees Celsius. And further down on the southwest uh, coast of Greenland, it was 22.9 degrees Celsius. So we would be very pleased with temperatures of 23 degrees in our summer in New Zealand. And then he shows the, uh, the state of the, uh, the waters around the Arctic ice. Uh, and he discusses all the different reasons why sea ice is melting, ocean heat, direct sunlight, rivers, fires, etc. And he posts uh, Paul Beckwith's um, videos, which I haven't yet uh, watched, on this. Um, and looks as I have at the, uh, the melting sea ice at the, t at the northern tip of Greenland. So uh, I really suggest that you uh, you read this article. It's a really important article, as is this. Uh, this is from uh, the meteorologist Nicholas Humphrey, and uh, he goes through and he says, the most important event on the planet right now, too bloody right, and just about everyone is ignoring it or treading lightly around it. So he goes through what he sees as the current state of affairs. Arctic ice is currently at record lows in the Northern Hemisphere, 
or at or near record lows within the Arctic Basin itself. Um, uh, much of the ice is, uh, that was previously thick is now only one to two meters thick and it's, uh, the, he shows with this excellent GIF how it's all breaking up. And this is the Canadian archipelago. So he talks about the detachment of the sea ice sheet from these coastlines. It says it's unprecedented. It exposes the central Arctic sea ice to lower albedo heating with additional dark open water running 2 to 8 degrees above normal around the Arctic Ocean where it is exposed as well as large swells and high winds from storms as we move into autumn and August and September. So he says, in my opinion, this detachment phenomenon elevates the risk of major sea ice collapse and a new record of lo a low minimum of sea ice in the Arctic Basin by uh, mid-September. So this is the same um, thing that um, uh, San Karana showed, just showing the incredibly warm waters. Uh, you know, kind of well above zero, including right in this area in the central Arctic basin. Um, and then he goes on to talk about the Greenland Arctic. Uh, Greenland ice sheet is forecast to lose 40 gigatons of ice in a matter of days, enough to raise sea level to uh, at least a tenth of a millimeter. And uh, peak temperatures Tuesday and Wednesday over the Greenland tundra may be as high as 20 to 25 degrees, with the interior ice sheet in the range of 3 to 5 degrees uh, Celsius, potentially higher. Darkening and resulting albedo reduction on the ice sheet is being caused by increasing meltwater, algae growth, and soot from fires in the Arctic. This is the potential for this week to be the second biggest melt ever observed in Greenland. So this is uh, this is a weather map. And then, of course, he goes to the fires in the Arctic are reaching apocalyptic levels. According to Greenpeace of Russia, 12 million hectares have been burned in Russia this year with 3.2 million hectares actively on fire in Siberia as of July the 27th. Uh, now, this is something that hasn't really been widely made uh, public. Um, but in addition to burning vegetation, carbon-rich peat is burning and will likely burn for months, releasing significant carbon emissions. And then not only in Siberia, but also in the Alaska, in the Canadian Arctic, and Greenland, and Scandinavia. And there have been 72 active fires in Alaska as of July the 29th. And then uh, it goes into uh, methane. Large emissions of methane gas appear to be venting from the Arctic Ocean. This can be seen via satellite atmospheric sounding data showing large swathes in the middle of the atmosphere over the Arctic Ocean with emissions of at least 2,000 parts per billion of methane, considered to be a large concentration, uh, except by uh, Copernicus, who... Uh, um, showed these 2,000 parts per billion, I think, in green, which in, sort of indicates that they think that it's, people should think that that's normal. So all of this pink are extremely high levels. And there are no low levels of methane anymore, anywhere on the globe.
So the global mean is near 1900 parts per billion, an enormous and northern hemisphere mean is likely to be in the 2000 to 2200 parts per billion range. Well, that's kind of what I've observed too. A methane veil covers much of the northern hemisphere with significant area of high concentration methane over the Siberian continental shelf. There are lower level, levels of methane venting in the southern hemisphere, uh, but it's present even in the Antarctic. It's been observed uh, during the winter. And as final point, the co conditions favourable for extend, extending e extensive melting of sea ice, Greenland ice, and the production of further large fires, namely very abnormal heat and drying of vegetation and peat, will continue over Greenland, much of Alaska, and central Siberia for at least the next two weeks. No station in the state of Alaska has been below freezing uh, for more than a month. Further sea ice losses and abnormal heating will drive jet stream wave anomalies and extreme storms and heat waves in the northern hemisphere. Uh, and I believe that uh, the Russian government has just finally uh, declared a state of emergency for the fires in Siberia, even though um, I saw that on the BBC. There's no mention on English language, Russian media, either RT and Sputnik. Instead of that, they uh, kind of had a an article kind of attacking um, uh, the young uh, Swedish woman who's crossing the Atlantic in a uh, in a boat. Um, so anyway. Let's move on to some of the data that I've got here. The news source uh, came from a, uh, a tweet by Zach Leib, and it shows the milk ponds in uh, Greenland, and it's taken from the Sentinel satellite. So let's just have a wee uh, play around with this. So uh, it certainly gives a, a very good sense of what's happening in Greenland. Um, a tweet from Zach Leib, uh, swirls of sea ice off the coast of Greenland today. This is a quick look at the sea ice concentration as of uh, yesterday, the 30th of July, and you can see the median ice edge for the years 1981 to 2010, and uh, that's uh, that's getting uh, uh, pretty low in all those areas of of blue um, where the ice is disappearing. But uh, this really uh, says something. So this is the sea ice concentration uh, and it going into the um, forecast period here. But have a look around the pole. So uh, this uh, really tells a tale. And then just finally, I will do the same thing for uh, uh, sea ice, uh, I know that's, sorry, sea ice uh, thickness.
So we're about the 30th now. Yeah, anyway, it's not, a, yeah, it's far too quick for me. I'd love to be able to slow this down. And because I don't really like these moving images, uh, you really need to slow them down quite a bit. Uh, let's just go to how the thickness looks on today's date. Oh bugger, no, it won't do that. Okay. Similar. Milk ponds. This is the northeastern corner of uh, of Greenland. So it clearly shows the same thing. Um, so let's just go around the edges and have a look at the uh, sea ice around. Uh, so yeah, here we are. Oh, breaking up, breaking up. This is all on the eastern coast. It's all very much breaking up. And no doubt a lot of this will be on its way into the Atlantic, with Atlantic waters mixing with the uh, fresh water. And this is on the northern side. So this is where all the old ice used to be. And I remember the shock last year when we first saw this phenomenon of the ice uh, that was previously the thickest ice anywhere in the Arctic uh, being drawn away from the uh, from the coastline. So this is what it looks like um, off the coast of Greenland. Whereas a couple of years ago, this was all solid, solid, and thick ice. So this is just going around the coast of Greenland. Not much left, is there? And we'll continue around here. This is uh, the uh, north, northern part of the Canadian archipelago. And so we get a, a good sense. So let's just move to uh, here. Of course it's a uh, cloud, but you can see this. This is the both at sea, all breaking up. And this is uh, around Norway is Emilia. Uh, this part of Siberia, I gather, is uh, slightly colder than usual. So and we'll just go in for a, uh, a briefer look, sorry, a, a further look. So you can see how the ice is breaking down. Uh, let's just quickly, uh, I always like to yeah so I like to know kind of where the um, the latitude is. So we're starting to get areas here. 
this is on the 30th of July. You see this is starting to uh, well and truly break up and this is at 82 degrees north. Yeah. So signs within that area of uh, breakup of ice.